All right, guys. So basically, the other day I got this Rubik's connected cube, and I kind of want to try to model an equation of my solve, and I'm going to do that with turns and then turns per second, basically. From there, um, I want to do a turns versus seconds graph, and then from there I can calculate like use solving the first derivative in turns per second. And then maybe I can create my own notation after that for um, you know what change in turns per second I guess after that so we'll just see how this goes I'm going to start by doing a solve on my um Rubik's connected because it gives me the hard data for it and from there I'm just going to plug into Desmos and we're going to see what um equation it pumps out to me all right so I'm loading this here Not bad, 13.66. I'd say that's a fairly average, maybe slightly more uh, faster than average solve. So I'm just going to go into the stats here and we can start using this to plug in some data. So right here it shows my moves and it shows how much time I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the um, times to as my x value. And I'm going to use the um, amount of moves for my y value. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, add these as I go. So it's going to be 8 at um, 1.93. That's going to, um, I'm going to put as one of my points and then it's going to be, um, eight plus 11. So it's gonna be 19 moves at whatever. Um, I think this is 1.93 plus 1.97. So that's going to be about, uh, 2.9. If I'm correct, yeah, 2.9 a second. So I'm going to go through and add those up and put them into decimals. Just realized I actually messed this up because it's actually supposed to be a 3.9. My quick math didn't really work out there. So all these are going up by one. <laughs> Seem fit. Oh, shoot. Wait, it's like linear. Why is it linear? This is wild. Man, I didn't think my solving would be so boring. Why is it linear? I thought it would be like, you know, maybe logistic or something like that. I guess it moves a bit here. This is a, probably a pause in between third and fourth pair. Wait, no, it's first and second pair. Wow. Huge lapse in time, but it's a huge lapse in moves too for um, PLL. Man, OLL is just like another pair. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I'm going to take this point here, which is going to be, I think that's point two and zero and then I'm going to take another point all the way I think we'll see how it works and we can always fine tune it later so I think it's going to be like 7.6 and 42 hopefully this works 7.6 and 42 take the 7.6 subtract by 0 0.2 and 42 on top of that what's that going to equal this should calculate about my average TPS. Yeah, it should be, it's about 5.67. Um, I'm gonna make that an eight just because I'm gonna round up all those little shenanigans. I'm gonna Y equals 5.68. And then uh, X plus B, we're gonna throw in, I'm gonna do point two and zero. So point two times 5.68 is equal to zero plus b. All right, so my equation is going to be y equals 5.68x minus 1.36, all right. x, oh, look at that, N minus 1.136. That's pretty dong on good. Maybe should it go a little bit lower? Maybe I subtract like 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.3. That looks good. Yeah, that's a bit boring looking. I mean, like, I guess it can kind of make sense. 
it'd be cooler to see like if we actually were to make a piecewise function of all this because that would show more of a change but for the most part my solving is pretty average which is kind of scary because i should probably just full send on pll then because your PLL, your algorithm should be so much faster than all these yokels here because like your pairs those are actually you have to use your mind and that sort of thing when like oll and pll you can just go out so i feel like if i just go all out on oll and pll out i could be so much faster so we take the derivative of this it's going to be y prime um it's going to be equal to 5.68 just using power rule it's pretty simple yep that's my rate of change boys <laughs> basically nothing thank you guys for watching i think this was a pretty interesting video kind of nice to see my um like solves almost like in a mathematical sense but at the same time it's pretty boring because it's basically linear i was hoping for like a logistic function or something cool that we can mess around with so anyway, i hope you guys found this interesting and have a great day